105 News at 11 starts now. As the tax deadline nears, one Oregon legislator proposes changes to the process. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Joseph. And I'm Laura Cavanaugh. That is our top story tonight at 11. It is April and that means it's tax time. For those who have filed or are still in the process of filing their taxes, there is often one basic question standard or itemized deduction, but that may no longer be an option if some Oregon legislators have their way. I just do a standard deduction. I just always do a standard deduction. Well, when you own a house, you get, an, you get a mortgage interest deduction. And it's usually, and it can be, it can be well over $10,000 depending on the size of your loan and the interest rate. And come tax time, is it a, a pretty welcome deal? Oh yeah, it's definitely welcome. But itemized deductions could be a thing of the past. Oregon legislators are considering a bill introduced by Oregon House Speaker Tina Kotek. House Bill 2001 would essentially eliminate many federal itemized deductions that count against state income taxes. Those include medical expenses, charitable contributions, and home mortgage interest. That's a proposal met with disbelief by many. They'd be pretty outraged about something like that. That's been the key reason to buy a house. And it's a big part of why people choose to move from a rental into a home ownership. Colin Mullane with the Rogue Valley Association of Realtors says the mortgage interest deduction has been a fundamental incentive to purchase a home since the early 1900s. In fact, a recent study reveals more than 75% of homeowners utilize that deduction. You're allowed to write off the mortgage interest deduction, which in the first 10 to 15 years of a 30-year mortgage is a large portion of the monthly payment. One, if taken away, he says, would have a crippling effect. Over 25% of any economy revolves around housing. So as soon as you put a block between a purchaser and the decision to purchase versus rent, you potentially slow the economy down. House Republicans argue HB 2001 would raise taxes on nearly every Oregonian. And with fewer loopholes to offset those taxes, some fear what it would do to a housing market that has just now rebounded in the last year. We understand that the legislature is not just locally, but at the state level and national are looking for revenue resources. But the housing market was in recession for nigh on seven years. And so now that we're finally turning a corner to put this on the table in Oregon would be a huge setback. 